We are starting off this edition with an update coming in from Pakistan, where the country's poll body has informed the top court that the general elections in the country will be held by the 11th of February next year. The Election Commission of Pakistan shared the date at a hearing on petitions calling for timely elections in the country. The poll body has also informed the Supreme Court that its delimitation exercise will be completed on the 30th of November. And this will be followed by the redrawing of the constituencies by the 29th of January, paving the way for elections. Pakistan has been in the grip of political uncertainty since the removal of Imran Khan as Prime Minister after losing a no-confidence motion in April 2022. The Shehbaz Sharif-led government that took over from him dissolved the National Assembly on the 9th of August this year. The Sindh and Balochistan assemblies were also prematurely dissolved to allow the electoral authority to hold elections in the country within 90 days. Had the assemblies been dissolved in time, the electoral body would have been constitutionally bound to hold polls in 60 days. However, the ECP decided against holding polls within the stipulated time as the 7th population and housing census had been approved. The approval made it mandatory for the commission to hold elections only after fresh delimitations were completed in light of the census results. In the latest that we have for you coming in from Pakistan, which of course has been dealing uh, with that political uncertainty, the Election Commission uh, has been uh, making headlines as it has been informing uh, the top court about the elections and the date. We'll have to, uh, the elections will have to be conducted by the 11th of February is what we know at this point. 11th of February 2024 by the 11th of February is what has been told. Uh, the poll body essentially sharing the timeline uh, with the top court and also saying that the delimitation has to be completed by the 30th of November. Uh, the redrawing of constituencies has to happen by the 29th of January and the Pakistan elections uh, will have to be conducted by the 11th of February 2024. So that is some certainty, clarity that's coming the way uh, for the people of Pakistan uh, at a time when the country has been dealing with that political uncertainty. Uh, let's go straight across now uh, to our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik for more on this. Uh, what more uh, can you tell us at this point, Anas, apart from what's been already mentioned? Molly, I seem to have missed your question. Can you please repeat your question? What more can you tell us at this point, Anas, as far as the timeline is concerned? Uh, with regards to the return of uh, refugees, uh, uh, Molly, uh, with regards to the return of refugees, the timeline, what we know is that this will be a phased out process and uh, uh, about 130,000, more than 130,000 people Anas, have already have, uh, returned uh, to the country. Now, what we know... So, all right, we'll just try and reconnect that line uh, with our correspondent Anas Malik. But uh, what we have been telling you about is that the poll body there in Pakistan has shared the timeline uh, about the elections with the top court. Uh, the delimitation will have to be completed by the 30th of November. Uh, we are also being told that the redrawing of constituencies will happen by the 29th of January and the elections will have to take place by the 11th of February 2024. So that those are the key uh, dates that have been outlined. Uh, the Election Commission of Pakistan uh, informing the court there about this timeline and we are awaiting further details uh, as and when uh, they trickle in. Let's go back across now to our correspondent, Anas Malik. Anas, if you can hear me now, I was asking you to share more details about what the Election Commission has told the top court and what we know so far about the timeline. Well, the Election Commission has been directed to consult the President of Pakistan, uh, Dr. Arif Alvi, by the, uh, by the Supreme Court. And in a short while from now, the Election Commission will be going into a huddle. I spoke uh, to sources within the Election Commission. They said that there are multiple thoughts that are there. Either the elections uh, can be held on the 11th of February itself or even before that. Because remember, Pakistan has to re negotiate with the IMF, uh, the International Monetary Fund, for a new lease 
for a new agreement and arrangement and that has to be done uh, by uh, an by an elected government and not by a caretaker government so the more election commission delays the elections is the more pakistan's the the economic crisis will deepen so uh, as i talk to you uh, the election commission has in fact gone into a huddle they are holding an internal meeting they're doing two uh, deliberations on two counts first whether to meet the president or second where the uh, election commission or uh, the chief election commissioner will go before the supreme court and uh, inform the chief justice uh, and the bench about the deliberation that they've done with regards to the election date uh, but in all likelihood uh, what i know what we know so far and we've been reporting it as well is that sometime in the last week of november this month Month is when the election commission will be announcing a formally announcing a date for elections which includes uh, uh, the the timeline for uh, nomination papers scrutiny and then uh, in the run up to the election day and the date as well molly Right. Uh, stay with me, Anas. Let's also get your inputs on this other key development that we are getting to our viewers coming in from Pakistan. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.